Hello everybody. Um, I guess pretty much everybody knows now that uh, about my cancer situation. I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick little update on it. Uh, and no, I'm not working. Uh, this is just my my propping spot. Um, I want to be working, but at the particular time. I just can't seem to to do it. Um, I can I can reach out here in front of me pretty well, but when it comes to to bending, uh, I can't reach and bend at the same time. It puts too much strain on my back. Um, uh, I guess a lot of you probably saw the pictures of where they cut me on my back, and and basically um, what they did. Let me find something here to kind of give a little description. Uh, the melanoma on my back was a spot about that big round, I guess. And what they did is they had to go an inch outside that all the way around to be sure that they got far enough out to get all of the cancer that was in the skin. In doing so, basically what they did is they come over from my right shoulder blade and cut this way, and my left shoulder blade, and like this, and like this, and they took all this skin in here out along with the along with the cancer um, and in the beginning I wondered why not just cut an inch all the way around but after seeing seeing the cut talking to the surgeon and all that it finally dawned on me that they had to do it this way in order to be able to pull the skin back together to close it back up um, and once I got or once they got to the center here the place was so big there's still a hole in the skin that didn't close up they weren't able to pull the skin tight enough in the middle to close the hole back up so there's still a hole in the center about the size of a dime uh, but it's it's healing um, I went yesterday got the staples removed uh, she said everything looked like it was was healing good uh, didn't see any problems and uh, asked me if I was having any problems with anything and where they come under my I know you can't see this it's off camera but where they come under my left arm and took out two lymph nodes there there's a spot about that big swelled it's gone down some now, but at one point it was almost as big as I'd say, nearly as big as a tennis ball swelled up under my left arm. And uh, ever since the surgery, on the back side, back here of my upper upper arm, is numb. There's no feeling there. And sometimes it'll come down into this part of my arm. Uh, sometimes it affects my fingers. Uh, I'm really hoping that when that swelling is completely gone, that all that goes away with it and all the feeling comes back and I regain full use of my fingers and, you know, all that. Um, other than that, you know, I told her, I said, everything's pretty good. A uh, little pain here and there. Um, I said, uh, I lost one staple somewhere. I said there was 30 to start with. I said, you're going to be taking 29 out today. And she said, well, that's not unusual. So, you know, no big deal there. So they got the staples out. Everything went good with that. One of the lymph nodes tested positive for cancer, which means that the cancer had gotten into my lymphatic system. That can be... A little bit of a bad thing or it can be a very bad thing um, or it can actually not be 
you know, anything at all, depending on depending on how soon it was found, of course. Uh, once it gets into your, your lymphatic system, it can travel throughout your body, from what they tell me. Uh, I don't know much about this cancer thing, guys, so if I'm saying something that some of you know is wrong, I apologize. Uh, I'm just going on what I've read and what the doctors have told me. But uh, once it gets into your lymphatic system, it can, it can then travel throughout your body. It could end up in the brain, it could end up in the eyes, it could end up in the mouth, it could end up in internal organs, legs, bone, blood system, uh, pretty much anywhere it could end up traveling to and basically starting a new tumor. Uh, before the surgery, I wasn't having any other problems uh, other than my vision, which has been deteriorating for much longer than this has been going on. So I, I'm, I'm thinking that my vision is not associated, my vision problems are not associated with the cancer. Uh, we'll find out. But uh, she said since the cancer had gotten into one of the lymph nodes, um, that they were going to put me on immunotherapy for at least one year. Immunotherapy, I don't know much about either. I'm sure some of you guys do. Uh, but for those that don't, my understanding is that it's nothing like radiation and it's nothing like chemo. Uh, it's simply something that gives your immune system a major supercharge. Um, it allows your immune system, it boosts your immune system to the point to where your immune system actually fights the cancer and your immune system does the job that it's supposed to do. Uh, in today's times, guys, with stress, the food that we eat out of the grocery stores, now the fast food joints, all the processed crap, all the chemical additives, us being overweight, under-exercised, practically all of us have a depleted immune system. I'm finding out. I'm doing a lot of research. I'm doing a lot of research. And um, in a perfect world, the way God designed our bodies, our immune system should catch this cancer in the very beginning and kill it off before it has an opportunity to get established. <laughs> With our weakened immune systems, that doesn't happen. Uh, so first and foremost, I want to stress to everybody that's hearing my voice, do something today. <laughs> Start today doing things to boost your immune system and take care of your immune system. Take care of yourself. It's simple to do. Uh, there's a lot of natural things. You don't have to go to the doctor. You don't have to get a bunch of prescriptions. Uh, a lot of mushrooms, turkey tail mushroom, for example. Turkey tail mushroom, uh, which I'm about to start taking. Uh, turkey tail mushroom is a super good immune system booster um but you don't like i said you don't have to go to the doctor and get a bunch of uh prescriptions or be poked and prodded everywhere um vitamins supplements the way you eat what you eat where your food comes from all these things can help put your immune system back to where it's supposed to be and hopefully fewer of you will have to go through what I'm going through now. Uh, but anyway, she's going to put me on immunotherapy, which again, this is a prescription drug. Um, I don't know which one yet, but I'll be on that for at least a year. I'm also going, she's setting me up with a medical oncologist, which is basically a cancer doctor. Uh, closer to home than where she is. She's in Little Rock, which is about 
three and a half hours from me in ungodly traffic. Uh, she's setting me up with a uh, cancer doctor much, much, much closer to home, only about uh, 45 minutes from home, much less traffic. And this doctor, he or she, I don't know yet, uh, but this doctor will go over all my records, check me out, and decide which type of immunotherapy for me to be put on. This doctor will also set me up for a PET scan, which is uh, kind of like a MRI, kind of like a CT scan, that kind of thing. But they inject you, they, they put an IV in, and they give you radioactive, a radioactive solution. And it's also a, a very, very sweet solution into your vein. Uh, you wait a little while, then you go into this scanner. And cancer thrives on sugar. Without sugar in the human body, cancer cannot exist. But we have to have a certain amount of sugar. But it's mainly processed, refined sugar that feeds the cancer. Thing, natural sugars like in fruits and vegetables and things like that, uh, not so dangerous. Uh, but anyway, this solution, they give it time to spread throughout your body. Then they put you in this big imaging machine and take pictures of you all the way head to toe. And any cancer spots will show up as a bright, a bright spot on that image. And the reason for that is that's where the cancer is and it's very active basically eating the sugar that they just injected into you so anyway uh, they're going to scan me to see if they can see any any more cancer spots in my body uh, they're going to do some ultrasounds and they're going to do some other scans and other tests and, uh, i don't know she talked about a whole lot of things yesterday that i didn't understand uh, but i will before i go because i'm I'm steadily researching. I can't work, so um, I'm sitting on the couch most of the day researching. Um, if they don't find any cancer anywhere else, I'll be on the immunotherapy for one year. I'll make uh, frequent doctor's visits to um, the oncologist, uh, the cancer doctor, and I'll make frequent visits to the dermatologist, the skin doctor, uh, for him to keep an eye on everything head to toe to make sure that nothing new is uh, coming up. Um, I am going to be back to work. However, I won't be back to work as much as I was because I'm going to have to be making a lot of trips back and forth for scans and tests, uh, that kind of thing. And on top of that, my wife still has problems. Um, she got approval through <laughs> she got approval through her insurance company for the CT scan that her surgeon asked for in January. She got that approval the day before my surgery. Um, so anyway, uh, she's going to have to go in for the CT scan then back to her surgeon uh, for the blockage in the um, in the artery and in, in her right, right side of her neck um, so between her doctor's visits health issues my health issues and doctor's visits um, I'm going to be limited on time uh, as I said I do plan to still continue to work uh, my doctor gave me the go-ahead to start back. Um, I'm going to probably start on Monday. I'm going to try it and see how it goes. Um, I'm thinking that right now I'm going to be limited to an hour, maybe two hours a day is going to be all I can stand. Um, but as time goes on, of course, you know, I'll improve and be able to sit here at the bench for longer periods of time. Um... But for right now, that's pretty much the scoop. 
I don't know if I have cancer anywhere else or not yet. I hope not. Um, the surgeon, when she went over the um, result, the test results from the, the one lymph node that tested positive, she said that it was a, a small amount. She said that in her opinion, she said she's not worried about finding it anywhere else based on the small amount that was found in that lymph node. Now, I hope she's right. I really do. But just because she hopes so doesn't necessarily mean that that's the way it'll turn out. I'm hoping for that, but I'm also prepared for any other outcome as well. Um, like I said, guys, that's, that's about it. Um, any new updates comes up, I'll let you know. Um, I won't be taking any new work. I've got to get what I've got out. Um, if you have equipment here, it will be getting worked on. My, my son is going to help me in the shop some. He committed to help me uh, a few days ago. Uh, once he gets a couple of things squared away. Uh, so I'll have help in the shop again here for at least for a while, maybe till I can get caught up and get everybody's equipment back to them. But anyway, um, if you have spoken to me about sending something, yes, I will still take it with the understanding that I am uh, fighting this cancer thing uh, with the understanding that I'm going to be away from the shop a lot and with the understanding that I'll get it for you as quick as I can. Now, if you have not already spoken to me, I'm sorry guys, but for right now, I won't be taking anything else. Uh, once I get caught up, I will be, um, but not right now. So if you've already talked to me about sending something, Yes. If you haven't talked to me at this point, no, not right now. If you can sit on it for a while, if you really want me to do it, and you can sit on it for a while, that'd be great. I appreciate it. If you can't wait, I understand. Um, and again, if you have equipment here already, it'll be coming back to you in the near future. Uh, I have several pieces of equipment that are ready I just haven't been able to ship them out because of this. Uh, but I will be getting things headed out here within the next couple of weeks or so. Um, and if I have, if you have equipment here that I haven't gotten to yet, rest assured I will be getting to it. With that, guys, I thank you. I appreciate all the prayers. I appreciate all the good words, all the support. Um... And I just, I appreciate all of you tremendously uh, for being behind me on this and supporting me. It means a lot to me. Uh, it, it really, it, it, I consider y'all, at the very least, friends and a lot of you like family. So, again, with that, I'm going to close it and um, I'll talk to you guys later. God bless. Have a good day.